Let me share with you an interesting question from the real test. I have full confidence, though, that you might be able to figure out the answer. Here's the question. Manager of the restaurant attempts to calculate the average sales for the week. Select the correct formula to help him achieve this goal. You're presented with the sales data on the left. It shows days and the meals sold. You have data Sunday through Saturday, and you have sales for sausage and eggs, chicken salads, burgers, and sodas. And you have four different choices to choose from. Average formula. And inside average, there is a sale formula. Average formula, then average and inside average max and mean formulas. And last but not least is the choice with the max E formula with the max and mean formulas inside. Do you think you know the answer? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can solve and get to the correct solution together. To help managers solve this challenge, we would need to use the average formula. To do this, let's type the formula. And as you start typing, you will see that the syntax helper in Excel will help you automatically determine what are the right parameters for this particular formula. For example, in our case, we would need to select the entire range from B2 to E8 and then close the parentheses. This will calculate the average in this range. A lot of times in the real test, you may also be required to calculate averages for particular categories. For example, to calculate the averages for sausage and egg, you can use autosum function and average is part of this function. And Excel will help you automatically pre-select it and once you hit enter, it will calculate the average for sausage and eggs. You can also calculate the average for a particular day of the week. If you put your cursor in the cell F2 and do the same thing by inserting average, Excel will pre-populate the values for all the products for Sunday. I just need to hit enter to finalize the calculations. Let's recap. The correct answer here is choice B, where we use average formula and populate it with the range. The syntax for average is where you can use average and then the range. And please reread the question carefully as a variety of different averages may need to be calculated. Now let's look at other choices to see why they are incorrect. Choice A, sale is an invalid function in Excel. Choice C is also invalid because it returns the average of extreme values in array. And choice D, where max if function is selected, is an invalid function in Excel, and comma should be used instead of the colon. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems in the test. But in case you need more questions or practice problems, please check out the description of this video for more information.